Today we're going to learn how to make corn dog muffins. Now make sure you got everything in your fridge. Don't be afraid of your refrigerator. Now here you got your football schedule on here. You got your living room all decked up for the game, watching the Broncos going to kick the hell out of the Raiders. And here's some of the things you're going to need. I got most of these at the dollar store, so it's not much money involved. And of course, you got your muffin tin here. You got four boxes of cornbread muffin mix and your nonstick spray. You're really going to need that. And then we've got, uh, I think that's two cups of cheddar cheese and three cups of milk. And then I've got a couple bowls here. There's four eggs, large eggs. Now your spices. Make sure you get all this together because you'll forget something. Uh, here we got two tablespoons of uh, onion powder, garlic powder, kosher salt, uh, sugar. I'm using Splenda. And then half a tablespoon of ground pepper. And of course, some of the other things you're going to need. Make sure you clean as you go. Clean as you go. And now I take my wieners and I cut my wieners in half. And then I cut my wieners in half again. And uh, I don't really like saying cut my wieners in half, but that's what you're doing. So now you've got dump all your muffin mix in there and then throw in all your spices. Now make sure you stir your spices up real good. Get them all incorporated in there. You don't want to have one bite that tastes real bland and the other one that's too spicy. So mix it up real good. And now take your milk, pour all that in there and you're going to start stirring this. Now you don't want to stir it too fast or too much. That will make the corn dog muffins a little bit tough. So just stir that up a little bit. Get all the lumps out. Make sure you dig underneath there to get any of those dry bits. Some of the times those sneaky bastards will hide in there and you really got to go digging for them. But once you get those up, make sure everything's all moistened properly. And then, you know, stir it a little bit and then after a minute or so you got a nice thin batter here and everything's all mixed up well and then you take your eggs I actually knew a short order cook who was afraid to crack eggs kind of a phobia kind of weird huh but you get your eggs in here and now you're gonna take a little whisk and you're gonna beat the hell out of them I'm not kidding beat them like they owe you money beat them like the Broncos are gonna beat the Raiders get everything all mixed up in there so you got the white and the yellow all mixed up now take your cheese now cheese, oh I love cheese. Now make sure you get every last drop. You don't want to be losing nothing. Take a look in there, see if there's anything in there. Get that out of there. You don't want to miss any cheese. And now just stir this up enough to get it all, everything all moistened, kind of separated. You don't need to stir that too much. Now you're going to mix the egg mixture in with the cornbread muffin mix and get all that in there. Again, you don't want to waste any. And again, this is not cornbread we're making, so you rednecks quit crying about it and tell me ah, it's not cornbread of course it's not cornbread it's cornbread muffins uh, cor corn dog muffins so now this is called folding you don't want to stir it up you fold it just take a little from the bottom stir it up to the top get around there nice and gentle just enough to get it all mixed together and then take your muffin tin now I'm not kidding you you're gonna want this stuff you're gonna want to spray those kinda liberally with some of the spray otherwise they get pretty sticky They'll stick to it kind of like a, well, okay. Now, I got a half cup measuring cup, I think that is. But you're going to fill that up, not quite to the top, but pretty close. And just get those in there. Fill up each of those little holes. And uh, after you get that, you grab your wiener. Now, make sure you got to hold your wieners because they could be a little slippery. And you don't want that wiener slipping out of you and falling on the floor. And then stick your wieners in there. Uh, make sure that they're standing at attention, standing upright, you know, looking right up at you. And uh, sometimes, you know, you can get a wiener that may be a little limp or start s sagging to the side. And I don't know, that's going to happen to everybody from time to time, but that's okay. You just grab that and kind of give it a smack around there. And then that makes it stand up a little better. Sometimes that doesn't work. It's still going to lean over. But, you know, maybe it's been drinking. I don't know. But get all your wieners in there. I'd have used four in each one, but my brother stole a couple packs of my hot dogs. But two will work. Some people may even chop them all up. And now take your oven. Don't be afraid of your oven. Make sure that's on bake, not broil. And then turn that up to 400 degrees. And you're going to want this to preheat. And I'm just a little over 400 because I'm a mile high, just like the Broncos. And then now we've got our 
corn dog muffins ready to go in the oven. So gently slide those in there so your wieners, you know, hopefully stay nice and erect. And close that up. And here's a little timer. Got that at the dollar store. Set that uh, for about 15 minutes. It takes anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes, depending on, you know, how hot the pan is. And now here, oh, yeah, baby. This has been going for a couple hours here. Some homemade chili. Oh, got green chilies in there. That's good stuff. So now after your muffins are done, you want them GBD, or golden brown and delicious. And they'll be a little bit, you know, it's a little bit more than you normally want, but this is a corn dog muffin, so you want that to be a little bit done more. And now just take a butter knife. Now don't go digging in there poking on the damn things. Just get it right around the muffin edge uh, just to kind of loosen them up a little bit. And you may think that those wieners look a little dark, but you're going to want your wieners dark. Dark wieners are good. And, uh, you know, they're a little crunchy when they get like that. No, that's the best part. But they'll still be a nice pink wiener on the inside. And now gently let them out. You know, maybe give them a slight nudge. Don't go digging. Let gravity help. So don't go digging too far. You could cut them in half. And, oh, well, there you go. That's going to happen from time to time. It'll fall out. They just take a bite out of it. You know, we call that sampling. And then you get all your little corn dog muffins out of there. And you put it, you want to use a cooling rack. Otherwise, they get soggy and such. So this kind of helps. Got the wire racks, the cooling racks at the dollar store too. I think they come three in a pack. Got the third one over there to set the pan on so I can fill it up again and shove it back in the oven. So you get your muffins out of there and that's where that spray works real good. Keeps them from sticking too much. You can't use too much spray otherwise it'll kind of burn but you get all your muffins out of there stand them up a little bit, let them cool just a little you don't want them to be too soggy, and that really helps with the cooling rack. And then once you get all your muffins ready, oh, they look good, don't they? Ah, here we go. Oh, that's looking good. Looks like they're ready to eat. Oh, golden brown and delicious. So now we take it. Nice look here. Pick out the first muffin we're going to eat. I'll take a nice bat out of that. Oh, yeah, look. You see the wiener in there? Nice. Oh, yeah. Just like a corn dog whole lot easier to make and all oh, that's good stuff so enjoy your wieners and just found out the Broncos beat the Raiders well of course we knew that was gonna happen just like I predicted before and here's the rest of the ingredients and try these out you're gonna like them not just for game day if they're good for any day